Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we're taking a look at some more of my Star Wars action figures from the movie Rogue One. And this is a four pack uh, that was called Jedi Revolt. And it features uh, some pretty interesting characters, including Saw Gerrera. So uh, this is an exciting set, probably one of my favorites that I have in my Rogue One collection. Because um, uh, Saw is a pretty significant character uh, appearing uh, in Clone Wars as well as I think he was in Rebels and obviously in Rogue One, and he also appears in the Andor uh, series on Disney+. Plus. So a uh, pretty significant character, um, significant for the, this movie, but also for the beginning of the Rebellion as well. So a uh, pretty interesting character, and uh, obviously played by Forrest Whitaker, and a really memorable performance uh, by uh, that actor. So so we're going to take a look at the set, and I will be getting it out of the package a little later in the video, uh, but I wanted to show you the packaging. Uh, the Rogue One packaging is some of my favorite design as well, uh, just in terms of the way they use these really beautifully done illustrations. And as you can see, it wraps around the side of the package as well, so that's very cool. Also more illustration here on this side. So that looks amazing as well, and even more illustration here. Very cool in, in terms of the design of the packaging uh, for these Rogue One action figures. And you can see on the back here, they have a write-up on each of these characters. So you can see Jyn Arso gets a write-up, Two Tubes gets a write-up here, the Imperial Hover Tank Pilot also gets a write-up, and also Saw Gerrera. So uh, very cool that they give a little back background information on all, all these characters. So... Uh, yeah, and they look really great in the packaging as well, uh, with that red background. It uh, looks very interesting. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get these out of the package uh, so we can take a look at the details of each one of them up close. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we got these figures out of the package now, and I want to go through each one of them. And we'll start over here with Jin Erso. And this figure is pretty similar to the individually carded version of Jin, and I can show you side by side. Uh, there do appear to be some differences in terms of the head sculpt. You can see uh, the face uh, paint uh, looks significantly different. I actually think it might be a different mold that they used uh, for the face. Uh, I'm not really too sure, but they definitely look different. Uh, in terms of the paint applications, for the most part, they're pretty much the same. I did notice that there's a little bit more detail on the blaster that she comes with in this uh, multi-pack than the individually carded version. You can see the, the individually carded version, um, the blaster seems a little bit uh, more gray. And also, there seems to be a little less detail in the actual sculpt of it, too. So, um, so yeah, if you're looking for a version of this uh, that has a superior version of the blaster, uh, this is definitely it. So, And you can also fit the blaster in the holster on her leg as well. So you can see that just inserts down in there, and that's very cool. So these figures don't really have a lot of articulation. It's really just uh, five points of articulation. You get, you get a spin at the head, you get articulation at the shoulder, and also articulation of the hips. Uh, but what they lack in articulation, uh, they do make up for in terms of all the sculpting and everything. I think they did a really good job in terms of all the detail on her uniform and everything like that. And that's true for pretty much all these figures as well. Uh, you can see she comes with pretty much the same headscarf that was included uh, with the other version of Jin. So you can see there's a slight color difference between the two, but I think for the most part, it is pretty much uh, the same accessory. So. Cool looking figure. Um, again, I, I prefer the head sculpt uh, or the face paint application on the individually carded version. I think it's a little bit better than this version, but nice to have an extra anyway. And we also have this Imperial hover tank pilot. So you can see what that looks like. I really like the uh, head sculpt on this. This looks really amazing and some really nice details on this. And as you can see, it comes with a blaster. You can see what that accessory looks like. Some nice detail on that. And just overall, a very cool uh, figure. I'm glad that they actually created some unique uh, versions of the Imperial Troopers uh, for this particular movie. So quite nice to have that in my collection. So nice looking figure. Next up, we got uh, two tubes. And uh, this character also appears in Andor as well. So um, he's already part of um, Saw Gerrera's entourage at that point. So... Uh, they did some really nice washes and stuff on this guy's outfit, too. So it looks very interesting. I love the head sculpt on this guy. So this one's on a ball joint, too. So you can get really nice articulation at the head. Um, comes with this uh, really long rifle. Uh, almost seems oversized to me. But I'd have to check the movie again to see if this is actually accurate 
for uh, the rifle that he actually has in the movie. Um, I'm sure it probably is, but in terms of the size, I'm just wondering if uh, maybe they made this thing a little bit too big because it seems uh, really gigantic. But uh, overall, really love the figure. I think it looks very cool. And again, that head sculpt is just uh, very interesting. And last but not least, we're going to talk about Saw Gerrera. And uh, this is my favorite of these figures uh, that are in this set. Uh, they just have a ton of detail on this figure. Um, you can see Eve the Dead um, very accurate to uh, the way it appears in the movie. And all the sculpting and so forth on this. His accessories and stuff. His breathing apparatus. They got all that detail on there too. Uh, this little part is actually separate. So you can see that that moves around a little bit. So that's pretty cool. And it comes with two accessories. He's got his blaster. You can see what that looks like. And he also has this staff. And the blaster will fit in this holster on the side of his leg too. So you can see that inserts right down in there. So yeah, you can holster his blaster if you want. And you can see those uh, mechanical feet that he's got too. At some point, uh, Saw sustained some kind of injury that requires him to have this sort of breathing apparatus. Um, I'm guessing we may see those events in Andor, but uh, maybe not until season two, but we'll see what happens. But overall, really fantastic figure and definitely happy to have this one in my collection. That's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more reviews of Star Wars action figures in the future, think about subscribing to my channel because I will be covering more of this kind of stuff in future videos. Until next time, I hope you're having a great day and may the force be with you. Thanks for watching.